going on, guys? Welcome to episode two of Grant's Rants. Thank y'all for tuning in, man. Thank you for tuning in, dude. A little bit of Mike Stringer, hit and run by Mike Stringer. Uh, Fuck, man. That's a damn good, uh, that's a damn good song, dude. Damn good fucking song. Uh, yeah, man. Thank you guys so much for tuning in again. Um, episode two, man. Episode one went went well, and dude, there was a couple things. You know, there was a couple things I I realized about the first episode was, um, man, the audio was not great. So I fucking I was like, okay, we're gonna have to fix the shit. Um, and then and then the lighting and shit man if like if you could see and i kind of like it it's so weird but like my my like my apartment this is my apartment okay or or let's call it a studio and it's got like all this shit and it looks like an actual like movie set in here and uh and that's all right and i kind of like it man because it's chaos there's shit everywhere it's like you know like my kitchen is clean and there's some things that are clean, like I actually cleaned up today, but it's just chaos out here. I got a light right here. It's all in the way. Fucking cables everywhere. You know, like there's just shit fucking everywhere, dude. And I like it. I like to have a little chaos in my life, man. It's like, I don't know. It makes me feel good, man. It makes me feel good to have some things not all like it when things are too clean and I do like things to be clean okay let me get that let me just say that like my OCD is crazy right like if shit isn't clean or things aren't in a place where I can easily find them or access them then I get anxiety okay so especially when it comes to like my kitchen or things that I want like when I need that thing and I can't find it because shit's unorganized anger rises Okay, and I, I'm I'm trying to, you know, I'm trying to watch my, my blood pressure and everything and uh anger rises, man. And so I gotta I everything's gotta be fucking in order. And uh and that's but but with the chaos a little bit, then it then it helps. Um because if things are too clean, then I just feel like I don't wanna mess anything up or I don't know, man. I just um yeah, I don't know, man. It just I I didn't even actually know that I would like shit being everywhere, but I just had this weird feeling today when I set up my st- when I had every cables and shit everywhere. I just had like this weird feeling like this feels good. You know? And it was so weird <laughs> because for literally no reason it it like it felt good. It was like, damn, like I like this. It felt peaceful. It felt like at home more than when it's clean. So that's weird, man. And so my, I guess what I'm trying to say is if you guys are at home and your shit's really clean, like, like, I don't know, mess it up a little bit, you know, and, uh, maybe not with like clothes or some shit, but you know, just you know, have, have a little chaos, mix a little chaos in there and see how you feel, man. Uh, anyways, uh, yeah, man. So, episode two um and dude you know i haven't i haven't gotten any better at figuring out how to start off these podcasts if i'm being honest like starting it is like the hardest part right because i don't even know what to talk about and yeah here i am and i'm already out of breath like i'm breathing heavy and you know i've been going to the gym I actually you know and i've been working out a little bit but like now that i'm a little older i don't get as much fucking like you got to exercise, bro. When I was 25, right, I could exercise and be in the best of shape. And then now it's kind of like, like you got to work out so hard to maintain the shit, dude. When you hit 35, it's crazy, man. And yeah, man, it just feels like I, I'm like, dude, I used to be able to fucking dude. Your boy could sit on the couch and just fucking kick it, dude eating fucking chips, uh, drinking beers, you know, with the boys, and then just go out and run a mile like it was nothing. And nowadays, I'm in the gym, right? And your boy's on the fucking row machine, 
and I'm rowing my little happy ass off, man. And I just, and then, and then I'm on the treadmill and your boy can't get a catch a break, you know, with, with trying to get in shape. I feel like I'm just out of breath all the time. So that's pretty crazy. Um, but yeah, man. Yeah. So I don't know how to start off these podcasts. Um, but you know what? It is what it is, man. And we keep it going and we keep pushing through. And then, and then when, when the, when the fucking shit starts going, we start rip roaring, baby. Finally got my Topo Chico's. I fucking love Topo Chico, man. I got addicted to this shit when I was out in LA. And, uh, you know, I'm not sponsored. This isn't a sponsored thing. Um, but, uh, I mean, Topo Chico, if you want to sponsor me, sure, I'll take it. Um, but yeah, man, they're hard to get, dude. They're like on a shortage, man. And, uh, delicious, dude. I, uh, this is all I drink now, man. And, and I used to drink sodas. But no, I'm not. I guess I didn't didn't really ever drink sodas that much. I would drink like sweet tea and shit that wasn't healthy for you. But um, this was like I had one of these for the first time like a couple years ago. One of my buddies was like, hey, have this fucking Topo Chico. And I was like, is it flavored? He's like, no, it's carbonated water. I was like, like flavored carbonated water. He was like, nah, man, just straight carbonated water. And I was like, so like with like like lime or something in it and he was like no like water with no flavor but water but it's good and i was like okay so i'm just confused because you keep saying it's delicious yet it's just water um and i tried it and i was like oh no he's not he's uh he's being serious man it's like super carbonated i don't know anyways uh yeah man so yeah i had a couple things uh today that i wanted to talk about and uh yeah man i like i think i said this on my last i can't remember if i said this on my last podcast or not but i was gonna you know i was gonna say it anyways like i feel like lately i have been just i've been trying to like get more focused with my shit dude um you know like I haven't been as focused lately and I don't know what it is. Like it started like, I don't know, like two weeks ago. Like n- now normally I'm, I'm not like that focused, but like, I don't lately it's been different. I don't know if anybody's had like, has it like this, but um, it's like, it started like two weeks ago. I, where I'm just like in a haze. Right. And, uh, that's been weird because like I, I have so much going on with work and then podcasting. I, I I'm I'm going out and I'm filming blogs and I'm uh, uh, vlogs. I I did a vlog. On my you can check that out. I just dropped that the other day. Um, so I, I I filmed and uh edited the vlog. I got like photography things going on. Excuse me. And I got all kinds of shit going on, man. And uh. But yeah, man, there'll be days where I'm just like in my house walking around with my phone, just like in fucking outer space, I feel like, you know, I'm just fucking out there in outer space and nothing's going on. I'm just like, and I wonder if like, so part of me was like, I wondered if maybe it was because I was in taking too much like content or dope mean stuff because like. Like now that I'm like living by myself, I kind of like, like I'm always doing something. I feel like, and yeah, man. Like when I get up in the mornings, like the first thing I do when I wake up, I'm sure we all do this. Is we like flip, get on our phone, and just start. Like that's how we wake up our day, which is not good. Okay, I know that it's not good. No, I mean it's not healthy at all in any way, shape, or form. All good, but. Uh, yeah, I turn, I turn over and I'll just look and I'll see fucking (laughs) like, you know, I'm, and it's always fucking horrible shit, by the way, like that you see when, when you wake up in the morning, that's just like, uh, it's just like you wake up and it's like people who woke up on, you see some article that's like, uh, studies show that, uh, 25% of all people that, uh, look at their phones in the morning are dying of cancer. And it's just like, Jesus Christ, man. You know, how dude, the last like five celebrities I found out died. I found out 
died in the morning, dude. It's like, yo, man, can I fucking wake the fuck up first before you start dropping some negativity on me, man? But yet every day I fucking turn over and get on my phone and look at the phone like I'm going to see some positive shit. And it never happens, dude. Fucking never. It's always like, ah, dude, fucking uh, DMX died. Fucking Bob Saget died. You know, Betty White died. It's always in the fucking morning when I read this shit. And so, like, I'm all woken up, all stressed out and shit. But anyways, so I thought, man, maybe that's it. Maybe I'm just, you know, I'm getting too much. Uh, And then I thought maybe it's because I'm stretching myself out too much, you know, because um, or maybe maybe it's because I'm putting too much pressure on myself to do so many different things uh, because I like to stay busy, man, you know, and I feel like. I've always been like that. Like, I've always got to be doing something, you know, like constructive, like building or creating or doing something always. That's why I do this podcast. It like gives me something to fucking do. Right. Or I go crazy or it's just like doing other things. And, and dude, I swear to God, if I didn't have other hobbies, I would probably be a bad drug addict, you know, like <laughs> something like for sure. Because like I need to be constantly doing stuff, you know. I was like, um, <clears throat> like, a, like for for a couple of years there, like I was like super into gaming. You know what I mean? Just because, like, I needed to be working on something or doing something, and I found I, I was I was playing this game called Rocket League, and it's like a <laughs> it's so ridiculous when my friends, you know, it's a ball that drives. Some of y'all have heard of Rocket League, maybe you know. But it's, um, yeah, I got really good at it. So I was like, I felt like I had to keep doing it because I was like better than most people. And so, and then one day I just woke up and was like, yo, what the fuck are you doing, dude? I got my, (laughs) this is what happened. Like, I got really mad one day, like so fucking mad at something dumb. And then I was like, I had to like, and then I went to the bathroom and I like, past and saw myself in the mirror i'm like yo come on man what are you doing dude like what are you doing you know being mad at this shit you know it was a real moment and i had to face the music there and uh yeah man i just uh but yeah man i feel like i always got to be doing shit you know um i've been i've been uh and, and, and when I get into things, I get really into them. So, you know, when I got in, when I started doing photography a few years ago, you know, I was like, like, I can't ever just do stuff and be like, oh, I'm going to be, I'm going to just do it and enjoy it. Right. I never can do that, man. And I envy people that can do that, but I just cannot do that. Like for me, I'm like, oh, if I'm going to do it, then I'm going to be the fucking best at it or I'm going to fucking try to do like I never half ass shit man and uh I'm I'm starting to realize that I shouldn't have been drinking Topo Chico because it's got so carbonated then I'm going to be burping to the whole the podcast in your ear and nobody wants to hear that okay so get it all out get it all out and fucking cut it with the burping shit I wish I could burp on like I wish I could I wish I could burp on like Q. Like I had friends when I was a kid, uh, like they could just burp like on Q, and I, I was always jealous of that because they would they would impress the girls with it because they would burp the ABCs, and I would be so pissed off, dude, that I could not do that shit. Like 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 I would try, but I was I was fucking terrible. I could roll my tongue though. That was like the one thing that I would show them that I could do that that was better than them. But anyways, uh, well, I got off a fucking tangent there. Uh, what was I saying? What was I talking about? Um. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. About um, fucking uh, doing shit, right? I'm always doing shit, and that's why maybe. So yeah. So the last couple days or whatever, I've been in like a haze, and I feel like maybe that's why, because maybe I've been putting too much pressure on myself to like, um, you know. There we go, baby. All right, I'm back in it. <clears throat> that's what I needed. I need it. All right, I'm chilling with the topo chico. It's so fucking delicious, though, man. Uh, but lesson learned. <clears throat> but anyways, yeah, man. So, uh, yeah, I don't know if maybe if you got, if you feel that, 
you know, if somebody feels like that, then maybe, may, you know, maybe they could, you know, tell me if, 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 you know, share their experience with me and, you know, um, and maybe what helped them, you know, because I, I don't know. I don't know what's what to do. I thought about like going to the doctor and just being like, hey, man, so. But I never go to the doctor for shit, dude. I, I like seriously, and I and that's a, not a good thing. And I'm not even bragging about that because, like, dude, if you are if you feel fucked up or whatever, man, go to the doctor, dude. It don't have too much pride to go to the doctor. All right, go to the doctor and we get checked out, right? But, um, but that's me not following my own advice. <laughs> but I probably should go. But I, I was just like, ah, oh, whatever. Let me just see how it rolls out. But, um. Yeah, it's been like a week or two, and I've just been, like I said, it's just been like a hazy sort of like, um, like if I get going on shit, then I'm good. It's just getting motivated to do shit. Like I'll be on my computer, and, and I think it's because, like I said, I got so much work to do, and maybe I'm overwhelming myself. But anyways, uh, man, I got to start... Uh, not to get all heavy and shit, you know, right off the fucking bat with the fucking problems and shit, man. I'm sorry about that. I don't mean to get all fucking heavy with with it, but, you know, I'm just trying to share my experiences, dude. You know, that's that's really it. Um, But, yeah, man. Uh, um, What else? Yeah, so I fucking... Uh, Man, so, dude, I realized something that, so I went to the, like, so at my apartment, I have, like, valet trash, so I can just put my trash out by the door, um, but to, but today, like, I was like, nah, I'm just gonna fucking walk into the trash can, because the dumpster's not that far, but it's kind of far, you know, it's like, it's like, maybe a, I mean, it's like, all the way down, and then take a turn, right, so it's kind of like a, five minute walk <laughs> maybe maybe it's five minutes right um and then why would you do that when you could just get it but I, I was like i'm not gonna be lazy i'm just gonna take it because it was full and i was not trying to just have it just wait i was like whatever i'll just take it um and when <laughs> every time i do take it though i because i live on a third floor and but i always bring my long board with me and i just i skate over there okay and, and then I skate back because it's faster, okay? And I was doing that today, and I do it all the time, and it never fucking, it was nothing. But today, specifically, it felt like, I, I was like thinking about like, why the fuck do I do that? Like, I literally was on my board rolling with my fucking trash bag to the dumpster, and I was like, why the fuck am I doing this? Like, am I too lazy to walk? You know, why do I always have to have my lawn board just to go five fucking minutes? I couldn't, I was like, I just didn't understand. And so I, uh, so I started thinking about it. I was like, man, you know, like that is so fucking me. Okay. Like just like I'm impatient as fuck. I realized that about myself, you know? And maybe I always knew that, but I just never like pointed it out to myself. But I had a moment where I just told myself, I'm like, yo, dude, you need to be chill and just patient, you know, just like relax, man. Like you don't have to like get everything like right now, you know, and dude, it's so funny, bro, <laughs> because like that is exactly like <laughs> It's exactly what I do. Like everything I do, it's like so, it's I gotta go, go, go. You know, and it's like every, dude, you know what it is? It's like, it's like a fear of missing out, I feel like. Like that's part of it, right? Like it, there's this fear of like, uh, yeah, just like if I'm, if I'm, <laughs> It was it was like, dude, if it takes me five minutes to get there or five minutes to get there, it's 10 minutes as opposed to half of that time if I just skateboard, longboard. But then I was thinking to myself, I was like, well, then what the fuck are you in such a hurry to get back for? Like, you're just going to be in a haze because, you know, your boy's been in a haze, not focused, like just back on your phone, sitting in the chair, doing nothing. You know what's crazy is I'll have Netflix going. Dude, this is what I do and I, I can't. 
uh, show you, but like over here, I got a desk and I got my chair, right? And my computer that I work at, right? And I got two monitors, okay? Two. And on one monitor, this is what I do on my days off, right? Like lately and just like every day, like not even on my days off, I've just been doing this like every day. But I have on one monitor playing like Netflix, all right? Or watching some shit. I have another monitor. I'll be like shopping on Amazon, okay? I think that's pretty normal. Or doing some, something else. But then I'll have my phone out looking at Instagram. Now, I was doing that today. I had fucking uh, some new show on HBO, which is funny as shit, by the way. It's called uh, Smiling Friends, okay? Some animated show um, that I was watching today, which was fucking hilarious, all right? Um, and if you, if you need a new show to, like, watch their, like, short episodes, they're, like, 20-minute episodes, maybe shorter, um, but super funny, uh, the whole series, it's one season, but it's on HBO max. You can see it. But anyway, so I was watching that and then, uh, I was like, I was doing it. I was doing it. And then I'm, I was, I was shopping on Amazon and looking at other things and then like, I'll look, bro, check this out. I'll have my phone out on Facebook, right. And, and Instagram looking at shit while this is playing while, while I'm searching on shit. So I'll just fucking jump in between all, all of them. Right. And uh, what was it that like? So I would I would do that. And then, uh, you know, then I would search back and then I was like looking on Amazon for shit. And then I would look up YouTube. Like so then I would be like I would have this. I would pause the fucking show to watch this YouTube thing. Right. And I would watch and I would get on that. And then I would pause that to, t and to turn the show back on. And then I would go get a drink. And a but, but, dude, I think that's not healthy man I like I really don't think that's healthy <laughs> and it made me think I need to go start going to see a therapist <laughs> uh and and mental health isn't funny unless it happens to you and it's funny and uh yeah man <laughs> I should definitely go see your therapist uh but anyways uh yeah, dude, fucking, uh, uh, but yeah, so I just realized that about myself, dude, I'm, I'm fucking impatient as shit, dude, I don't like to miss out with things, and I like to just keep going and going and going, and I trailed off there a little bit, but let me get back into it, so, um, but I was thinking about that, and there's this, it was how I was a kid, too, right, because I'll tell y'all this story, right, and I don't think I've ever told anybody this story, or this about me as a kid. Like, I, not even my friends know this. Like, nobody knows this. But I'm going to just tell it because I think it's like, it, it, it's like what, like it describes who I am, you know, and fuck it, whatever. And it's, it, but, but it's so embarrassing, dude. I mean, this is such an embarrassing fucking story. But I'm going to fucking tell it anyways, okay? Uh, but when I was a kid, because <laughs> I was thinking about this when I was, when I was a kid, dude, I would like, like I would hold in my, when I was playing with my friends, I would hold in my shits. Right. So this is what would happen, dude. When I was a little kid, I was like f maybe five. I remember this. Right. My friends, we would all be playing and this is embarrassing as fuck. But like I would have to poop. And in order to stop it from coming out, dude, to stop it from coming out, dude, I would sit down Indian style on the ground and hold that motherfucker in. You know why? Because I was I was like, fuck that, dude. I ain't got time to go shit. All right. I was a gangster ass little kid. I was like, no, fuck that, man. You know what? My boys are playing and I'm not going to waste time fucking shitting. Are you kidding me? Dude, I'll shit when I'm bad, bro. I ain't fucking trying to fucking miss playing fucking uh, pick up ball, pick up football with my friends or playing tag or hide and go seek. You think I'm going to miss a game of hide and seek to take a shit, man? Fuck that. And that's exactly what it was, bro. And when I was a kid, I used to hold my shits in all the time and I would get constipated. And I, I couldn't shit, dude. I, like, could not shit. And my parents would be like, yo, what the fuck is wrong with you? You know, why can't you shit? And it would be, <laughs> and bro, I would, oh, I would dread it because I would take the pain, most painful shit. So anyways, I don't even like talking about that. It's real, like I said, that's super embarrassing and and also kind of gross. But yeah, man, I mean, it is what it is, dude. That We all did weird shit as kids. That's one of the things that I did, dude. I, I didn't, I, I couldn't. Like, 
the, the time, bro. I, I didn't have the time to fucking go shit, man. Like, and dude, to this day, and I actually do take shits now. I don't hold it in anymore. That 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 was quickly passed. But, um, but it would be now. I'm thinking about it. It'd be funny as shit if like I'm at dinner with with my like. Like if I if it happened today, if I was still doing it today, I would just be at like dinner with friends. If you ever see me at dinner, like if I come to a party that you invite me to or like a wedding and you just see me sitting Indian style by the by down by the fucking table or some shit, just know your boy's holding in the shit because he doesn't want to go. OK, so uh, but not fuck that because it's not worth it, dude. I, I learned that real quick because, you know, but uh, yeah, man. So that's that's uh that was an embarrassing thing that fucking happened to me as a kid and I actually did that. And so that's crazy, man. But yeah, man, I mean, it's okay to just slow down and take, dude, you know, and, and just let things happen the way they're going to happen, man. And, 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 uh, there's some confidence in that. And I think it's like, like, it's sexy to be like that, man. It's so sexy to just kind of be like, yeah, man, you know, if it happens, it happens. If not, it's all good, man. You know, I'm just kind of chilling. You know, I'm just chilling, man. And, you know, it'll, it'll come around to it. It'll happen on its own time, man. And that confidence is so sexy, dude. But your boy just don't got it. I just don't got it, man. I guess I'm not sexy, dude. I have to be sexy in other ways. Um, you know, um, uh, not sitting Indian style. That's one way to not... To, that's one way to be like more sexy is just to take shits like actual ones uh but anyways dude yeah man that that happened and uh yeah i don't know uh i don't know if anybody else feels like that it was just me like if anybody else feels like they kind of constantly be doing that it's kind of weird because i don't have a lot of anxiety as a person although people would think i do because i'm high energy all the time like at work and everything and like just everybody I meet, they're like, damn, dude, your energy is like fucking up here, man. And trust me, I wish that it wasn't because it stresses me the fuck out. All right. But dude, it's like my brain is just fucking, you know, uh, it's like going, dude. And you know what I did? I just, like I used to try to smoke weed. I used to, I smoked a ton of weed for like, for a good five years, I just smoked a fuck ton of weed, and it did mellow me out, but it definitely made me a different person, not who I was, and it w didn't necessarily make me a person I like, but because I don't know, I just was like, I just didn't like that person. When I think about those years that I spent smoking weed and like the time that I wasted and blah, 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 you know, like I wasn't, I wasn't like one of those stoners that like, or, you know, the friends that are just like, yo, I smoke weed all the time and I'm a fucking business owner and blah, 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 blah. You know, and it's like, okay, yeah, but I wasn't that guy, okay? I had fucking, I was doing bong rips and playing fucking Call of Duty with the boys, right? Like, there wasn't any fucking successful shit happening during that time. So, um, you know, it is what it is. And the weed, like, mellowed me out, dude. But, dude, and then later in my life, it started giving me a lot of anxiety, man. It was like my brain was like, quit trying to fucking slow me down, bro. You know what I'm saying? I'm trying to go in this bitch. And you're trying to hold me back, dog. That's what my brain was telling me. It was like, yo, bitch, yo, we ain't going out like that. So, I mean, it was like my brain wanted to fight me. And I wasn't. And so I'm like, damn, dude, it's fucking stressful, dude. And so, yeah, I had to stop smoking weed, man. But I thought maybe that would mellow me out. And it did for a little bit, like I said, but, um, and then I got into doing the little pin and that, that didn't give me as much anxiety and also mellowed me out a little bit. But again, you know, and maybe I could try it again. I'm actually open to like maybe trying it again. Dude, somebody was telling me about CBD or that Kratom shit. What is that shit about, dude? Like, what the fuck is Kratom? Um, like let's just see what 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 the fuck is kratom? Kratom. It's like isn't it like CBD but like for fucking one day I'm going to have a fucking producer. Yo Jared, pull up kratom. Hey, can we see a picture of kratom real quick? Uh kratom. Here it is. Uh it says it's a dude, I swear to god I can fucking read but dude, who who the fuck 
writes this shit. So it's mid a. Okay, this is just what I'm saying. Uh, is a tropical tree. Oh, okay. So it's all natural, dude. Dude, the first thing that pops up, dude, the first thing that pops up is, can Kratom hurt your heart? Not like, <laughs> dude, that is fucking hilarious, bro. Yo, oh my God. It says, can Kratom, does Kratom cause brain swelling? Dude, this is all the shit that, this is the first shit that pops up. You know how people, it says people also ask. I'm guessing that's like what people, like what, other shit people ask i'm guessing uh, or, or google but fuck dude does kratom hurt your heart i love how it's like people are wording it like that bro <laughs> like does it hurt your heart not like does kratom cause heart attacks or does kratom like cause heart complications or problems or it's just like does kratom hurt your heart which could also mean like physically but it also could mean like figuratively like can it hurt your heart like can you you have heartbreak from using kratom um does kratom cause brain swelling dude like is this what's going on with this shit and people are trying to tell me to take this dude a lot of people are like yo kratom dog is the shit man you gotta do it um I don't even know why they tell me to do it. Dude, you know how some shit, we all have those friends that like there's just some shit that they just, because they fucking saw some shit going on that they thought, oh, dude, do the shit. Dude, we saw fucking this thing about Kratom, bro. You got to do Kratom. Everybody's doing it. And it's like, but for what, dude? You know? Wait, wait, wait. For what? What are we doing it for, though? You know what I'm saying? Hey, bro, it's all good that you're excited, but hey, for what, man? It's like, oh, no, it's just good for you, dude. Dude, I hate people who are general as fuck, bro. I fucking, dude, it's another thing about me, man, is I cannot stand if you're general as fuck. You better come with to your boy with some fucking specifics on some shit, dude. Don't come to me with the fucking half-ass uh, information, dude. Do not come to me with some half-ass, ambiguous-ass information bro you better come at me correct with some real information or your boy's not gonna try shit and that's just what it is man you fucking better know why you do it don't just say because dude all right i'm fucking now i'm pissed i'm not gonna try it and i'm pissed that you don't fucking know why you're doing it um okay so look it says other serious side effects include cardiac issues such as heart attack, abnormal heart rhythms, and blood pressure. And brain disease? Dude, fuck this. Bro, dude, this is what I'm talking about, man. We got our friends don't know shit, okay? And I, this is one article on Google, so it has to be right. Bro, some, listen. <laughs> dude. This is why, dude, I don't believe shit nobody says, dude. If somebody's going to come to me and go, hey, you got to try this, I'm going to go, okay, that's what I got to do? Oh, fucking great. And then I come on here, and the first things I see is it can hurt your heart, which can mean a lot of different ways to hurt your heart. And I don't like my heart hurt in any way. And, and then also causes brain swelling. Dude, it literally is the fucking thing. Gladder, which who knows, says side effects of Kratom include seizures dangerously high blood pressure. All right, fuck this, man. Kratom is the fucking devil, bro. Fuck this. What is the good fucking... Is there good things about Kratom? I mean, why are people just doing it? I'm never going to do this shit, bro. Wow, man. I'm glad I Googled that shit, dude. I mean, I wasn't going to do it anyways unless I fucking Googled the shit. Um, But damn, dude. Fucking Kratom, man. Get out of here. Don't do Kratom. That is, is the fucking story of that. Uh, what was the other thing? Oh, CBD. CBD is actually good because I actually know about CBD. So maybe I'll do some CBD. But definitely not Kratom, bro. Fuck Kratom. Uh, yeah, man. That's fucking wild, dude. Fuck, dude. That's bad, man. It's really bad, dude. <clears throat> yeah, anyways. Um... What else, man? I got to take another drink of my Topo Chico. I'm sorry if I burp, guys. Mm, 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 mm. 
so fucking good. Um, so, oh yeah, dude. So my buddy, and if he hears me, if he fucking sees this, he's gonna be pissed. But it is what it is. He knows. He kind of low key knows, right? But like, um, <laughs> so look, my buddy was he he goes on these rants about things, and then like, listen, there's, uh, he he was talking to me about something the other day. And you know what I realized? And you guys might realize this. And, and Dude, this was a grand realization, okay? Like, this was some fucking next-level profound shit, dude. Like, do you ever think that life is just like a conversational shark tank? Dude, that's how I approach life, man. When I, when I leave my apartment, dude, when I leave my apartment, dude, your boy's Mr. Wonderful. All right, when I leave my apartment, bro, you know what I am? You know who I turn into? Fucking, where's my fucking Mavericks, dude? Because I'm Mark Cuban. All right? I'm Mark Cuban. And you better come, your pitch with the conversation, especially if I don't know you, better be good. All right? And some people don't come to you with some good shit. All right? And I was like, you know what? I need to introduce a new segment called, and for that reason, I'm out. So welcome to the new segment called, and for that reason, I'm out. And this segment is all about things that if you come to me and you say these words, just know I'm out. Okay? If you come to me and start your conversation like this, do you know wizards? Uh -uh Uh-uh-uh. You said wizards. I'm going to stop you right there because for that reason, I'm out. Magic. Hey, man. You said magic. And for that reason, I'm out. Hey, do you know about the Marvel series? Mm-hmm. Uh-uh-uh-uh. You said Marvel series, dude. And let me just stop you right there. Hey, Mr. Wonderful, are you going to take it? No, me either. For that reason, I'm out. Maybe the other sharks are interested, but not your boy. Not your boy. Okay, just take it on. All right, you you got a good thing going probably, but this ain't the guy. Okay? If you come to me and you start your sentence with, you know, actually. Ding, ding, ding. What do we have for her, Johnny? We have a sorry, I'm out. See you later, man. Ah, I, <laughs> I'm sure what you got to say is really great, but let me stop you because I don't want you to go any further because your boy's out. I'm, I'm done, dude. I'm out. I'm out, okay? You said... I already know where this is going, and and you know what? I'm out. You're actually, like, you want to start off by, so, you know, the FDC, okay, hold on, what do you got there? I'm out. Don't be coming to me with some shit like that, man, you know? And every week, I'm going to fucking, every podcast, we're going to have a small segment called, uh, and for that reason, I'm out. Okay, because we can't have people coming up to us just saying conversation all willy nilly, dude. All right. Listen, dude, I get to choose the conversations. Okay, I get to choose. You don't get to choose. You came up to me, dude. You know what I'm saying? You came up to me. Okay. There was uh, who is uh, he said somebody said the other day, uh. Who is it? Fucking. Uh, he started the conversation with the dude from um, goddamn uh, with the dude from fucking um the Marvel universe. Uh, and I can't remember, but when he said it, I said, uh. I, 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 so, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. It was, 
hey, so <laughs> we're just in casual conversation. If you bring up when you say the words to me, okay, understand this. If you hear, if you, uh, for, for any of you that are in Austin, Texas, if you see me out, let me tell you what not to say to me. Do not in any point in your sentence, not one point in your fucking sentence or paragraph or any part of conversation you have with me, mention the words sorcerer supreme. Now, you do that and we're going to go, Oh, hold on there, buddy. I loved this conversation and where it was going, but you said Sorcerer Supreme, and I'm going to tell you, I am so out, okay? I'm taking a fucking U-turn, dude. Your boy is flipping a bitch, and I'm headed back the other way, okay? Do not mention a Sorcerer Supreme in a sentence when it's directed at me, okay? All good. You got to pick your battles, though, man. You know, I understand that. You know, you got you. you I, I. This is me, man. I just I, I pick. It's like I, I. I've decided to choose these hills to die on. You know, we all have the hills we're going to die on or whatever. And, you know, I choose these, you know, and, and look, dude, I just I can't be bothered with th- that amount of boredom. I just can't be bothered with it, man. I'm so, so, so sorry. Um, but if 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 you want to talk about Sorcerer Supreme, there's other people out there. Uh, but yeah, man. Um, what else? I think we're getting close to the time. Um, yeah, man. Uh. Yeah, I think that's probably pretty good, dude. Um, we talked about we talked about a lot of shit today. Um, anyways, thank you guys so much for tuning into the podcast. Um, Grant's rants, please go on, follow your boy on uh, Instagram. Uh, I'm posting banger videos on there and banger photos on there sometimes. Okay, but uh, would love to connect with you. Uh, the real underscore uncle underscore G. I'll leave a link. And uh, man, I appreciate anybody who comes in and subscribes and. Uh, I do. I'm going to crank out podcasts for you uh, as often as I possibly can. I'm not going to give you a schedule because right now your boy is on a very hectic schedule, but I would like to pump out like at least two, maybe two every week. That would be my like, I would say maybe two every week, but I might be able to do three every week. But it would be nice if I could do like six every week so that when you guys are at work, you have something to listen to. And so that's my pitch to you. Hey, are you at work? Are you bored? Are you tired of the fucking content that you're getting? So tune into your boy and you're going to get the real shit. Okay. Tune into your boy. And what we're going to do is we're going to take this journey together on, on, on the road to discovery and figure out what the real answers are to world, all the world's biggest problems. Okay. Together. All right, so go ahead and hit the subscribe button. You can comment. You can do whatever you want to. I'm not your daddy. I'm not your boss. You know what I'm saying? You you can do whatever you want to, but I'm going to tell you something, and I said it before, and I'll always say this, very liberating feeling. When you hit the subscribe button and you support your boy, it helps the algorithm and helps out your boy and you do something nice. And so when people go, hey, what did you do for charity? You go, hey, I subscribe to a guy's fucking podcast and it helps me fucking do this for still no money. But I love to do it, man. And I'm not ever going to complain. Your boy's your boy's not going to complain. OK, because I'm, I'm chilling, man. Your boy's chilling. All right. Anyways, uh, appreciate it, man. I love you guys. Uh, and yeah, and the time is done. So, you know, uh, for that reason, I'm out. All right. All right. Love y'all, man. Peace.